On 8th of July, Saturday, quarter past 12 in the afternoon, uh, my second video for the day. Uh, and today I'm just going to cover a, an ICO, uh, one because I'm interested in it. Uh, but before I start, um, and I have been sharing this particular perspective in the last few videos, and so I want to make sure that uh, everyone's very clear that uh, the reason why I'm doing all of this is for my own interest. Um, someone came onto my YouTube and tried to tell me that I was doing it for uh, other reasons. Uh, but yeah, that's not the case. Uh, this is who I am. This is how I am. This is what I'm doing. I'm actually enjoying this space at the moment. Um, and I don't have any other agenda apart from sharing with you and uh, about, you know, I suppose choices that I'm making. Um, and I think the big thing with this crypto space, and I have been uh, having some really good conversations with people who can string uh, more than one or two words together, a um, little bit of a dig there, uh, about this entire space. And, you know, this, it's very volatile. We've seen uh, so, uh, some massive movements in the last, we could say, seven years. And there's been two major, major influxes of, of money and we've seen one in 2013 we've seen one in 2017 uh the beginning of this year and then we're in the middle of a retracement so uh, and i keep saying that word retracement and seeing all of my blogs in on steamant if you are investing at the moment in icos and you're investing in the crypto space be mindful that the entire sector is pulling back at the moment now does that mean that the particular crypto that you are investing in is going to pull back uh, maybe not. Um, however, it's such a, on such a small scale that there's no doubt there are market influences that are going to see the prices pull back. So, but that's not the premise of this particular video. What I wanted to do is uh, share with you a uh, technology that I'm interested in, and, and it really shows the advancement of blockchain um, and the possible potential for, for so many different applications um, and products. Uh, and that's what this is. That's why I use uh, crypto assets. I should be saying that a little bit more often. I think it's a blockchain asset or a crypto asset. Uh, I think we're moving away from cryptocurrencies, and I think the technology is going to evolve very, very quickly. And the reason why I think the big thing about using blockchain over just the standard uh, technology we've got now is that it's going to be so much faster. We can store information uh, more readily with a little bit more uh, capacity for security. Uh, it's faster. It can handle more transactions. And I think that's what is going to be a standout in the future. And it's something that, you know, it's just another technological advancement that we could all uh, benefit from. Um, now, the other thing about doing these videos, and I'm going to cover Bowhead Health today. Now, whenever I'm from today, and this is how it's been in the past, um, I've only shared with you uh, particular cryptocurrencies that I've been interested in um, and I've been invested in. So if, I, if I'm in this, then I will share it. If I don't like it, uh, and there's something about it that bothers me. I'll share that with you. And more often than not, I wouldn't, wouldn't even do the video. Why would I? I wouldn't even bother. Um, every particular cryptocurrency that I've shared with you so far, I'm invested in. Um, and I haven't even done a... And well, I think the, the one that I did get out of was Ripple, and I never did a video on that. Um, I did talk about it, and I talked about how um, it, it bothered me, and there were some things that I didn't feel comfortable with, and I decided to leave that particular space. I mean, that was my decision. This is, that's what this is all about. If, you, if you're watching these particular videos, this is, this is not telling you to do anything. It's about giving you information to allow you to get excited about things um, and, and make decisions that you feel uh, are suitable for your family and suitable for your position in life. So in saying that, that's my long-term discla well, disclaimer, um, and I think that's reasonable. Now, the other side of this, since I've been doing my videos, uh, I've been, only in this last week, I've been approached by three ICO companies, uh, or ICO, uh, what do you call them, project teams, to do videos for them. Now, that's never happened before, um, and I wanted to disclose that with you before I did this video. Now, ironically, uh, it seems to be like the law of attraction. I happen to be already looking at Bowhead, and I'm not sure how this has happened. I think uh, what happens, I went onto their web website and I put my email into the uh, into the email section to get information about it. Um, and then I was approached uh, pretty much the day after, and someone had gone and ironically had seen some of my videos on YouTube and then asked me to do a video. And there was a there is a return. They call it bounties. 
Now, I hadn't actually heard about this, so I went and looked, at, looked it up. Now, you can actually get some bounties. And it's not, I'm not going to be telling you to go and... Uh, I'm not talking about bounties as, uh, as the topic today. What I wanted to, talk, to disclose was that there is potential for me to earn some coins from Bowhead for doing this, this video about their amazing uh, technology. Um, however, in saying that, uh, I think that's fair if I'm going to go and put some time down for a particular video, and that's why you put my videos on Steam it, and I'm trying to earn a little bit of pocket money so I can live my life. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. However, I do believe that uh, we should be dis disclosing that. I do believe, and I think that's fair when it comes down to investments, um, and that's my values, and that, that's my integrity, and I choose to do that. So that um, that's what this is all about, uh, whether that or not I qualify after this big long disclaimer so be it um, but however bowhead does seem to have some some great potential now i did invest i invested in the early bird uh, i think i've got an early bird one i think i've got it for 35 cents us bought x amount um, now i'm a health and fitness coach in my other hours and i do have a gym here i've got a 451 square meter gym i've got x hundreds of members who come and participate in my daily training programs um, i'm a big advocate on uh energy and frequencies and you know completely structured filtered water I, i'm right into electrical foods and only eating uh, the best food sources that you can and i'm not into uh, additives and gmos and, and hybrids and things like that i'm a big fan of dr cb and i'm a big fan of pyramid technology and uh, all sorts of different things i mean this is uh, well, my perspective on health. Uh, I'd like to see the world get away from uh, all the crap food that we eat. I'd like to see us get away from the big pharmaceutical dependency, the, the government dependency, um, and get get real with our health and, and understand that uh, our biological system uh, relies on uh, very certain, very simple key aspects of life. And, and you know, that's sun, water, food, uh, energy and I'd say the other side of it is, you, is your the environment that you put yourself in. If we're in a really true environment as to nature intended, I think that we could actually solve a lot of our uh, issues, a lot of our health issues. Uh, in the last hundred years, I think the human race has only um, it's gone backwards really. I mean, in regards to our health, we, there's so much sickness out there. I mean, I don't get sick as such. I, I, I mean, I've don't get flu shots and I don't get the flu I don't get colds I mean I, I have trouble relating to the people that are always sick I mean I know there's elements of the health industry that um, you know people do need need genuine support and I, and I do understand that and I respect that uh, but I do think there's a lot of people abusing their vessel um, over a long period of time and some of it's passive some of it's not necessarily their fault I and mean, we've got computer screens and technology you know so we've got bad electromagnetic fields causing the mitochondria in our cells and we're talking about cellular health here and that's what this is all about and that's why I like Bowhead. Uh, Bowhead is part of that uh, push towards better health and you know they're not pushing uh, I think an agenda based around uh, a misconception there's no doubt that uh, some supplementation has got a bad name um, because uh, I think in the past some of the supplements that have been available are not necessarily bioavailable um, which means that, that when you take them orally it, the body doesn't necessarily absorb the nutrients as best um, and it passes through the body a little bit um, uh, faster than what we want and we don't get the full maximum and optimal benefit of the, of the consumption of that supplement but ha however technology is advanced in the supplements as well and a lot of the ones that i personally take uh, i make sure that they're all bioavailable um, but i'm also a big advocate on some of the simple supplementations um, and these are things like vitamin D and vitamin C. You know, you got to you can get your sunlight, and I think we need to get a little bit more sunlight, and um, uh, making sure that we absorb these uh, energies and nutrients in in passive ways, uh, because we are locked away in blue light offices. A lot of us in the Western world, uh, you know, we, we go to work in the dark. Oh, yeah, we leave early in the morning. We we're in offices all day, and then we come home, and then we're in we're in a home. We're not we're we're hermits really in a um, in our own little cabins um, so being very aware that um, you know there's things that we can do to improve our uh, physical and, uh, and mental position and a lot of that's got to do with optimizing our health so the bowhead uh, project is simply uh, about the first medical instrument 
powered on the blockchain. Now, what that means is that oh, they've got a third-party uh, medical instrument here, which you would, which you would, I, th I imagine, you'd buy. And this is like, imagine this is a Kickstarter, and this is their product, and you're going to invest in it. Now, I've invested in it only because it aligns with what I believe in, um, and it was the first medical instrument on the blockchain, and uh, and I sort of thought, oh, well, why not? Now, do I think it's going to be an Ethereum or something like that? No, because the, the technology is completely different. We're talking about a crypto asset. This is different. Uh, they're uh, attracting a different market niche um, and a market market niche that I sort of align with as a, as a coach. So here's their dispenser, um, and it's going to be dispensing uh, specific uh, supplementations, and, and I think you can actually, or supplements, and you can actually uh, make adjustments to this particular list as you deem fit. I mean, I think everyone will have different specific requirements and different needs, and, and you probably find you can customise it very, very much towards uh, what you require on a daily basis. Um, now, where does the blockchain come in? You've got the opt. It's got an app, uh, and you know, look, I don't have all the answers to this. Um, I've gone and researched a couple of times and looked into it, but there's only a certain amount of information that's available. And you can go on the website, and they have done quite a few videos and things. Um, but the whole op idea of this is being able to align and connect your application, uh, which is on your smart devices, to the device, and it'll track all your um, your health data um, securely on the blockchain with your own, uh, I suppose, encry encrypted um, account, if you like, um, and there's lots of uh, connections with experts and there's a um, data control and there's all sorts of different things that are going to allow you to uh, optimize your health. I mean, that's that's their uh, prerogative here. Um, and look, there's, it's not the only app that's ever been out there, but it is the first app health-related that's going to connect to a device that's going to uh, I suppose create better behaviour on a daily basis, um, and I do have a, I do take supplements every day. Um, I take GSH, I take liposomal uh, vitamin C, I take um, vitamin D, I take vitamin D3. I take these things. I'm pretty diligent with it, but I imagine there's quite a, a lot of people out there who aren't as diligent, and they do need reminders and things like that. And this, what this is going to do is you can set up reminders and real-time diagnostics and, and dispensing. So every morning when you're brushing your teeth, the dispenser might be on your on your uh, bathroom bench. Uh, the five, uh, you know, your vitamin D and your vitamin C and some others. And maybe you're on a particular medication for, for a condition. Um, uh, that you need at that present time in life and you may be able to dispense that for you. I think that's quite good, good idea. Um, it also comes up on your phone in case you forget. Um, look, I've got, I have gone and watched a little bit about the team. I don't, I don't know them personally. A couple of them have uh, spoken to me in the um, Telegram groups and, and obviously via email. Uh, I do like their uh, direction. Reason One of the main things that I liked was Rhea Meta. She's the Bowhead Health CEO. She mentioned one thing in one of her videos, and it was all about understanding cellular health. Now, as soon as she said that, you don't hear it very often, and, and I'm uh, a strong believer in that. That is what we need to be talking about a lot more. It's not about uh, dealing with symptoms and having uh, you know medications that are going to relieve symptoms. There's, you know, we don't, that's not the answer to cures. It's not the answer to the solution towards better health. What we need to do is understand why we get sick uh, in general. And I think the science is already there. And there's a lot of talk about cancer and a lot of talk about mitochondria, a lot of talk about microbes within the cells, a lot of talk about the electrical responses of foods uh, when they're digested through the food, uh, through the stomach, um, and how that actually responds with our cells um, at a cellular level. Um, and, and I'm really big on uh, toxicity and, and those sort of things. And I think it's a major problem in our society is, is that the toxic uh, influence of the industrial world that we live in. And, and it's stuff that you can't see. It's the nanoparticles. It's the uh, accumulation of, of uh, elements that we shouldn't be exposed to. And that can be energy as well, okay, negative energy. And that can be from your smart devices and, and or people. Um, and it can actually come from your own thoughts. I mean, it's very, very well understood science. It's not talked about because I think that they could actually solve. I, I actually do believe uh, that we can actually 
uh, cure the world of, of pretty much 95% of all our uh, ailments or diseases or conditions of the body if we researched and spoke more openly about cellular health rather than looking at band-aid solutions that make profit. Um, and that's where the dark side of the force is really, really strong in this world um, and we can move forward. So again, Bowhead has got a very, very good team behind them. Um, it is the first product on the market uh, that I've seen. It's actually a physical product outside of cryptocurrency, outside of uh, an, an Ethereum or an Anshares or an EOS uh, where it's about smart contracts and, and applications. This is about um, a, you know, technological advancement in um, connecting smart assets, smart devices to uh, a product on the blockchain. Um, it's worth looking into. I'm not saying you buy into it. I have, um, only because it's on the side. I've got a portfolio of different crypto uh, assets. Uh, this is one small element. Will it do well? Who knows? It may probably have a uh, particular market share that they'll appeal to. Um, there's no doubt that anyone in healthcare um, and anyone in, in that does take supplementation and is not very good at re uh, remembering to take them and those type of things and wants more information from the applications and all the resources that this particular technology is going to bring because I know that they're talking about bringing in experts and they'll, you know, the app's not just about uh, an alert. It's actually giving you feedback uh, and further information on how to optimize your health and I think that's a very very good direction uh, because uh, you know that's one of the things I'm passionate about and that's why I'm supporting this particular one uh, there is information about the ICO I think it is still early bird um, would I put all your eggs into this one definitely not that's a, one of those rules uh, is it worth having a little bit on the side I don't know that's up to you and that's the thing about all of these um, investment videos and things like that. All it is is giving you a heads up of what I'm doing, uh, what I believe is great. And, um, you know, if it goes well, then, then you know, congratulations to the Bowhead team uh, for being so, I suppose, showing some initiative and, and you know, that's what it's all about, uh, trying to come up with some great ideas that are going to change the world and support change. And that's what I'm trying to do from, you know, having my gym and, and having health health oriented uh, beliefs and uh, all we can do is uh, talk about it more often and share so that's all I've got bowhead uh, check it out that's all I'm gonna say um, it's up to you to go and read the down you get the white papers there you can do it the pre-sale information's there if you want to go and get 10 shares uh, for your 10 bucks then I think they're only what did I pay 35 you can get a little handful or if you want to spend more there is no limit um, to how much you can invest but it's up to you again uh, and I'm gonna leave it there uh, I do have the EOS window open here. I was going to do a little EOS uh, update, but I'm going to let that go uh, for this present time. Um, and, yeah, look, thanks for watching, guys. Check out Bowhead. Let me know what you think. And uh, if there are any other medical instruments and things related to health, I'd be really interested to, to see what they are. And, yeah, feel, feel free to share that with me on my uh, YouTube channel and on my steamit.com at Sebastian Dago page. Um, let's have a conversation about it. Let's talk talk about these things more openly um, and you know and I think that's where we all learn we learn from each other so have a great day guys and uh, see you in my next video